TV 20 Detroit starts right now. Tragedy on I-275. Two people are dead following a crash involving a wrong way driver. Thank you for joining us at 10. I'm Simon Chayquette. Investigators say two cars collided Friday night in the southbound lanes in Romulus. State police say a fairly steady number of wrong way crashes here in Michigan throughout the years have taken place, the highest being 427 in 2016. And in 2020, 371 were reported. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cast is talking with families impacted by these crashes and has a look at how they may be prevented in the future. Just over a month into the new year and so far at least four people in Metro Detroit have been killed due to wrong way drivers. New technology is now in the works to help prevent these deaths from happening. Just before midnight Friday on I-275 in Romulus, Gabrielle Hammond was making her way home going southbound when she came across a horrific crash. I just seen a bunch of smoke and two vehicles that were no longer vehicles anymore. At the time of the accident, state police and Romulus police were on the lookout for a driver going the wrong way. By the time they arrived on scene, it was too late and two people were found dead. It was a very devastating situation. The fatal crash, the second major accident this year involving a wrong way driver. The first happening January 3rd on I-94 in St. Clair County. A whole instant replay of that day. It just what is wrong with people? Uh, how could they do this? Audrey Poppert lost her daughter Tia Owens in that wrong way crash. The 33 year old mother of four was studying to become a nurse and had her six year old son in the car with her. It's really hard. She was uh, she had everything she wanted. Owens son was just released from the hospital this week, a month after the accident. Audrey sent us this photo and says he suffered multiple broken bones and still needs a feeding tube due to a devastating brain injury. His comprehension and concentration is not there. He's not able to see very well right now either due to the head injury. From 2011 to 2020, 65 fatal accidents in Michigan were caused by wrong way drivers. This winter, MDOT started testing new technology at the Joslin exit ramp on I-75. Developed by the Auburn Hills based company Continental, the alert system flashes at wrong way drivers to turn around. And if they don't, MDOT workers are notified to alert police. Faster that we get that information into law enforcement's hands, the better chance we have that this incident won't become catastrophic. She loved her kids. Her kids were her life. The January accident at I-94 has now left four kids without their mom. Owen's family is doing their best to get by, hoping no other family has to feel their pain. It's just unbelievable that someone would be so inconsiderate to uh, not only take their life, but to take the life of other people. Else. And Tia's family has set up a Facebook page to help raise money for Tia's four children. We'll have a link to that on our website, WXYZ.com. I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action.